Hi, my name's Peter, and today we're gonna talk about the great, great Carlo Santana from Mexico. <laughs> Probably, um, if you're a few guitar player, um, I think every guitar player on this entire planet was once faced to his playing. <laughs> Some of you might know this tune. <laughs> and we're going to check out um, the essentials of his playing. Um, I mean, his main, his main genre is, uh, is this uh, Latin rock, which has a few things uh, which we need to know. It's, this is a mixture between rock and Latin. So what does it mean? I mean, we're playing with his daughter guitar. Not we, uh, actually Carlos, but we, as we're trying to play the way he wants to, um, we're playing with this Tori guitar. <laughs> and we need to know a little bit of theory because since it is a little bit Latin, we need to know a little bit of theory behind it, but not too much so that everybody really can follow this and really can soon play a little bit in this style of this. So we're checking this out now and also a little bit of the, the, the sound. <laughs> Actually he plays a uh, distorted guitar, Mesa Boogie Amps, PRS guitars as we all know. And mostly I think not too much delay and not too much vibrato. Really pretty plain. Um, personally, I would do a little bit more, more vibrating. <laughs> Means up to, but now let's check it out on the close view. Now this was a part of his most famous, one of his most famous themes. To understand what is going on, we're checking first the progression which is happening. Actually, the chord sort, <laughs> nothing special at all. Um, if you're a little bit into Latin guitar, this is a very, very common uh, Latin progression. Some people call it the autumn leaves um, <laughs> progression because it's the typical progression which um, came famous to the song Autumn Leaves. Actually it's um, F minor 7 to B flat 7 or B flat B flat 7 to E flat major 7 to A flat major 7 to D minor 7 flat 5 to G7 to C. First C minor then C major. So, the, the, the theme is um, <laughs> doing actually more or less a basic exercise in following the chords. So, we have, when we have the theme, it starts with C minor, it's the entry chord. So we're playing a little lick, just playing out the C minor arpeggio. And then we go, we, we make approach note here in the 8th fret to the ninth to the to the minor triad of the F minor chord. Then it switches to B7, mm. then we, we go to the to the triad of B flat of the B flat seven chord. And then we just go down in the melody. Really it's very simple. And then we end up in the triad of the E flat major seven. Mm. And then the whole thing happens again. We just move down this little motif. First is it's just one little motif, just moving down one step, and always ending, starting on the triad of the chord, ending up on the triad of the next chord, and that's the whole thing. And um, you see, it's so simple. <laughs> It's more like a technical exercise, but of course, when you switch on distortion, it sounds a little bit different. That's the whole thing, actually, what is happening here. It's too simple to be true, but it's a good example 
that really good things in life can be very, very simple. Now here comes another typical element in Latin rock, founded by Carlos Santana. Um, you can take this little uh, rhythm guitar section to uh, see what's going on. Or this one. Actually, this is a this is a vamp called a vamp because we're playing two chords the whole time, and when we play a Latin vamp, we always play um, two five progression. In this case, two five in G this is an A minor seven to D nine or D seven. And the typical Latin uh, vamp chording is this one. So we're playing a um, A minor chord, playing all these three three strings here, which you play, then move down with the bass. Um, this is also D9, just the upper part of it. We have D9 like this, we just have the root missing. And in some cases it's played like this. See, and that's the whole thing. That was too easy to be true. <laughs> Sometimes I'm going to believe myself. So when we come to soloing, since we are having a, in this case, in this WAMP, 2-5 WAMP, uh, we have a 2-5 progression. That means 2-5, for those who are a little bit more advanced, on the A minor, we play A minor Dorian, and on the D7 we play D Mixolydian. For some, this is this scale here. See, pretty easy. Um, if you only know pentatonics, that's not so bad, not such a problem. Just one additional note, actually two additional notes. It's this one here. This one here is the the nine, and this one here is the six. But the really important note is this one here. This F sharp. Because the F sharp is the main, is the triad of the D. So now this leads to a very, very simple um, theme. <laughs> Actually, this is only a little exercise of our, with our pechos because we play A minor arpeggio, A, a minor seven. There's nothing else than an A major. A minus seven arpeggio, and we go back to the arpeggio. This is the triad, and this is the root, and that's the whole thing. Come to soloing, as you saw before, we have this typical unisono bands, which was uh, actually typical in this area in the 70s. Um, but um, since Carlos Santana was a very famous guitar player, um, it's his thing, thing it's uh, called uh, like Santana unisono bands. You make unisono bands, like for this note here, the A, you add the bending below. <laughs> And you just bend it up to the same note, and this gives this very cool effect. You can do it on any note. What I did before. 
and this <laughs> this unknown thing is really cool. Yeah, very cool stuff. And uh, when you go into soloing, as I mentioned before, the Dorian scale, you can play normal pentatonic licks, but uh, A minor pentatonics. But then, when it switches to D, you can really go on this really defining note F sharp. See, and this is what happens. So. When you go into soloing, try to when it switches to D to really get this um, D uh, F sharp, and then you more or less you're already in this Carlos Santana style. Don't play with too much vibrato, more really, really plain. And try the unisono bends. And also, of course, bendings like this. So let's check it out. So I hope you enjoyed my little Carlos Santana tutorial and I think um, for me it was always uh, very important to notice that the big guys also only cook with water. I mean um, when you really take um, analyze the stuff which is played it's not such a I mean it's, I really love I really love Car Carlos Santana I don't want to disgrace him at all. I mean, I'm a big fan, still a big fan, and I really uh, appreciate his music. But when you read, when you analyze it, you see the simple it, how simple it is and how easy. You also can get into this Latin rock if you really love this kind of playing. And uh, for many guitar players, oh, I want to play like this. You can really build up with a simple way and then just move forward. The more licks you can play, and of course, um, there are some runs and. Uh, some really amazing style parts which are played, but the main part of uh, which makes like 80% of the playing um, is uh, more or less very simple. Um, let's say, if, if theoret with, with a theoretical background, it's very simple, just moving from chord to chord a little bit and playing melodic with distorted guitar with not too much vibrato. Without want to disgrace the big master, of course, but just to tell you that it's not such a miracle to take you the fear that you I can never play like this guy. You you can at least try. As yeah. Good. That was the main message of this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. <laughs>